bag it is hella dark out here it, you obviously can't eat in there because it's so packed so i'm taking this home luckily i don't live far from hackensack uh where this is located i should say so we're taking it home man what's going on guys king shrats here back in the video on the channel and this is so requested this is like one of those places i white mana located in hackensack new jersey it is an institution it's been on every tv show you could ever think about diners drive-ins and dives tony bourdain went there food network's gone there travel channel you get the idea it has been there since 1946 the location in hackensack new jersey there is also a location in jersey city new jersey that's been there since 1939 but it's always on the list of best burgers in the country that is not an exaggeration you can see it written all over the place the place on the inside is the smallest thing you'll ever see in your life i haven't been there in like 20 years and I'm just wired from having to be in there. There's like 30 people in a place that's standing room only. There's no line. You have to scream your order. Sometimes your order gets screwed up. People don't know who's supposed to go first. But even with all that, the burgers are so good that nobody cares. There's people from there. When I went there, there had to be at least three or four people who didn't live in New Jersey that were eating there. You could tell by their demeanor. They were saying, please, I'm talking way too much. Drop a thumbs up. You guys are ready to know to die. As I'm talking, I'm just going to take these apart. But I got eight. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot what I ordered, bro. It's been so long. I got eight double cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers are $3.60 a piece. There's going to be somebody saying, back in my day, they used to be a lot cheaper. Well, they're not anymore. There is one little griddle that's smaller than the table that I'm eating on. And you just see this guy with a bunch of onions and a bunch of buns and a bunch of these little slider buns just putting all this stuff on there. I don't know how he does it. My, I would have carpal tunnel out the behind all day. But again, the burgers are supposedly really good. That is better. You have the option at this place. You can get a single or a double hamburger or cheeseburger. And you get onions that come on there. You can get it without onions or ketchup. You can get everything on it. But that's all there is. There's not a lot of things that go to this. They don't season anything. It's just done on this little ass griddle. But here it is. This is a white manna. Oh. Cheeseburger. I'm drooling. I don't know why these are good. I have no idea. Martin's potato roll has to be done for me on a burger. Brioche is okay, but for me, Martin's is king. Has to be a Martin's potato roll. I know that's what they use because I've been eating these in my entire life. The onions just not a little bit of crunch. Nice amount of flavor. And the burgers are so greasy and juicy that you almost don't even care that they're not seasoned that well. Or at all. They do give you salt and pepper in the bag, but nobody does that. You just eat it as is. And you just shut up and enjoy your burger. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest when I say this. I love white man. I grew up here. I've been eating it my whole life. I haven't been here in like a decade. But it tastes like 1946. There are better burgers now, in my opinion. They're good. Don't get me wrong. But... There's nothing about it that, in my opinion, makes it the best burger in the country. I went here because, one, I live here, and a lot of people were asking about it. Let's try a fry. I know these fries aren't seasoned because I've had them a billion times as well. It is your most basic crinkle cut fry you'll ever get. Anybody watching this that thinks I'm saying... Yes, I do have mambo sauce. <laughs> I don't care. I got to put something on this, and I don't really care for ketchup. But anybody watching this that thinks I don't like these, I do. I just, at this point in my life, doing what I've done for a living, I no longer believe these are the best burgers in the area or the country. They're just better. But I still love them. They're just really juicy. And the ambiance of sitting there, enjoying it, there's people eating. Basically, you're standing on people eating because you're so close to people sitting at the counter. Most people take them home, but some people will sit there and eat. But they're just, like, there's something about them. That it's the simplest thing you can do, but it's just done just like the way you want a burger sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I am a person who lives in New Jersey, I will be a person who goes to White Manor. Even though I don't think it's the best burger around anymore. Again, that's just my humble opinion. But even with that, I don't want to misconstrue what I just said. I like them so much. 
I might have the lowest rating that anybody's ever given a white man burger, which is insane. But to me, I'll give these burgers an eight and a half out of ten. For reference, I've seen mad people give these burgers like a ten, nine five. I'll sit here and eat all these sliders. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But. If they just blow something. But I'll say this about them. The cheese. Nice. Big. Giant. Thick slice of cheese. And. Even though it's a slider. And they do smash them down. There is. A noticeable. Amount. Of burger that you get in this. And the onions just add the only flavor that you'll get from these, which I don't mind because I love sautéed onions so much. They're cooking that fat, almost like a beef towel kind of deal. But this is one of those things, in my opinion, you have to go to White Mana. I don't think you have to eat it there because it's so small, but the experience alone is like really dope. It always has been. You can see how confused people that have never eaten there are like I said there was like three people from out of town that you could tell biggest reasons why I know people from not from New Jersey won't really get this but anybody who's from at least where I live will if you go anywhere in New Jersey and you order food I bought seasoning for these fries bro <laughs> I'm not playing with you like season my fries please but better if you order the guy said hey can i have five uh double cheeseburgers please and i went he ain't from here you can immediately tell we don't say please here when we order stuff and i know other people may think it comes off as rude it's just normal here no one thinks of it as rude i went to school in the midwest and please and thank you was like a common phrase and like so you say please and thank you here when I order my food, we just don't do it. It's like a dead giveaway to tell you're not from here. Um, another guy tried to order pickles. You have to ask for pickles on the side. They give you a cup of them. It's like two bucks. He tried to order pickles. Um, the dude that was working the, the, the griddle was like, I ain't got no pickles. We're all out. And the guy was like, oh, that's okay. No problem. I was like, he's not from New Jersey. <laughs> Anybody else would be like, what do you mean? No <laughs> like, you can just tell. And it's not a bad thing. I've seen a lot of foodies come to the New York area, whether it's in New York City or the neighboring boroughs, and say that they were, like, confused by the customer service because the people behind the counter, and white mana is like this. Anybody who wants to go, I'm just preparing you. It almost seems that, that they don't really care because they're just like, what do you want? You know, it's just different. And a lot of people, it almost seems like you're trying to get people out the door. And they are. It's normal here. Let me try these Sun Chips. Spicy Jalapeno. I did the, the, the chili lime ones and they were so good. I've had these for a minute, but I haven't tried them yet. I will say this again. Sun Chips, to me, are just so underrated. So here's the Spicy Jalapeno. It's made with a black bean chip. I don't hope it's going to screw it up. You can see it says black bean right here. I don't know how I feel about that. Did you put the wrong label on this? There is no spice to this whatsoever. I'm not getting any jalapeno. Like, none. It almost tastes like a green pepper. Is there a, I'm waiting for the kick. Not even a kick. I don't like this. The black bean texture. It don't have a sun chip. You can taste. No. No. Look, I know some people probably think, oh, these are healthy. Even though a bag of Doritos has the exact same macros and you're going to say, oh, this is healthy. But sometimes healthy ain't good. Sometimes healthy ain't good. You know what I'm saying? It ain't good. Like, y'all can pretend y'all like the healthy when y'all be eating some of the stuff to be a little funny, like, substituting. Y'all don't like it. You're just trying to tell yourself you like it. You're the person that's got, like, 
like a crappy boyfriend or a girlfriend and like you know you're like oh well you know they're okay because like at least they uh paid for my lunch yesterday or something but they like cheat on you like that's you like you know, that's what you're doing this is not what it is i love sunships i do not love these at all you can you can go somewhere else back to these we go i'm giving those a solid two out of ten and i'm only giving one point because i love sunships i'll no also forgot to bring these bad boys out Trader Joe's mini, almost everything bagel sandwich crackers. So they're like little sandwich crackers, but I thought these were interesting because the sandwich part is cream cheese. So it should taste like a little everything bagel, which is to me, the bagel that I order all the time. Oh, that's cool. Look, here we go. The little hole right there, right? And then you got the little specks of... Bro. <laughs> Joe. The sandwich cracker is nice and buttery. And it's got their everything but the bagel seasoning on it, which I've already had and love. And then it's got a smear. A little bit of cream cheese in the middle. Like a cream cheese, you know. It's not a crazy amount, but it's just enough to give you some cream cheesy taste. These are dangerous. What are the macros on these? I bet they suck. 150 for eight crackers. Yes, I did just sneak one. These are fantastic. I have to give these away because I'll eat them all. I'll eat them all. Just one of those things. You ever just have like a snack that if you leave it in your kitchen, just keep walking back and getting a handful? That's these right here. Trader Joe's like, I would say nine out of every 10 things that I've reviewed from there. I've liked, like really liked, and this is no exception. This is a 9.3 out of 10, they're fantastic. These back. these are from yesterday. If you didn't see this review, I like these. I had them yesterday, but I still have them because I didn't give them away, so I just eat some more. But. I love where I'm from, but like I said before, people who aren't from here, I can understand why you'd be put off. I grew up in this, so I don't think it's weird, but when I lived in the Midwest, I couldn't believe how, okay, this is my opinion, and I know that it, it's not like 100% true, but especially when I first moved to the Midwest, it almost seems like people are like so nice that it's fake. Like, in New Jersey, when you see somebody, like at a... Say so you're at the, the, the cash register, you know, when you're grocery shopping. It's very common that when you walk up there, you be like, how you doing? You know, like, then you say it, like, how you doing? Like, whatever. But it's just another way of saying hello. You know what I'm saying? We say hi, sure. Like, how you doing? You know, whatever. Can I get whatever? So I've been saying stuff like that my whole life. When I moved to the Midwest, I remember going to a place called hy V, which is like their grocery store. And I'm checking my groceries out, I put my stuff down, walk up to the thing, and the guy's like, you know, how's it going? I was like, hey, how you doing, man? And he's like, oh, I'm good. He, he, he told me how he was doing. I was like, what the hell is going on here? He a whole story about his day. He's like, oh, you know, I had problems with the car. Um, you know, the brakes are not a little, little squeak. You gotta take him into the shop, get him fixed. He, like this whole thing. I almost felt bad for him at the end because, like, he wasn't really doing that well. But that's not what we do here. We don't really talk to strangers. We might hold the door open for you, but we won't. Some people won't even say thank you. And forget about driving. Like, people just drive through you at this point. But it's normal here. It's not considered rude unless it's, like, obnoxious. You know what I mean? Like, if, for example, I do hold the door for you and you don't say thank you, that's rude, but it's not, we don't say please much, but we do say thank you. Does that make sense? It's just different here and definitely the demeanor with most places because it's a much more fast paced if you're from like a rural area or like the Midwest or anywhere. Our lifestyle is so fast paced. Everything we eat is on the go. You go get a bagel, the bagel takes two seconds to make. They kick you out the door. You'll get a pizza. It's already done. They warm it up. You slice out the door. Everything we do is on the go. That's why there's so many bagel shops, donut shops, Dunkin' Donuts around here because that's how we live. 
even the way some people think it's weird that I talk fast, everybody around here kind of talks at this cadence because we just don't have time to waste. We're always on the go. Like everything, we always seem like we're not relaxed. When I got to the Midwest, again, my only comparison is I've been to the South, got family down there in the Midwest, and they're just like, for me, I'm like, why are you, they just got all the time in the world. Like they don't even really got to get nowhere. They just be, that's ah, fine, you know, or, just be like, and here, like, people drive like their car's on fire. Like, everybody's driving, weaving in and out of traffic. They're just like, ah, knock your head. It's fine. Yeah, how's, how's the what? Like, it's, it's just different. Um, if you're not from here again, it can be a little startling. But I will tell you this. Again, I've lived here my whole life. The people here are very kind-hearted, nice, cordial people. We just don't show you that unless you know us. But if you needed help, say your car broke down on the side of the road, you'll get help. Say you can get... One time my car broke down on an on-ramp on a highway. I swear to God. This was maybe 2014. I had an old car before I, you know, was working. And I drove onto an on-ramp on the parkway. The parkway is like our highway. It's with toll roads. So I drive onto the parkway. My car breaks down the on-ramp, completely <clears throat> takes a piss, gone. And I'm sitting there, like, like I get out of my car, and I'm like, fuck, what do I, I'm going to have to get this to the side of the road. So I get out of my car, I hit the hazard lights, and before I could even get to the rear of my car to push it, there was four people that came from out the car and pushed it to the side of the road with me. So we're good people, we're just, and you know what the messed up part is? They didn't even say anything. <laughs> and that's what us in a nutshell. The people got out the car. They didn't say nothing. They helped push the car, and they kind of gave me a look like, sucks, bro. And I was like, yeah. I was like, thank you, guys. And it was like, and they, they just went back in their car and fucking went to work. That's New Jersey. We're good people. We just don't really act like it. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. But that's love, man. Sliders are good. I really do think you need to try this place. It's just an institution. It's one of those things, if, you have a, if you're a foodie, it's on your foodie bucket list. The burgers are great. I just think there are better burgers now. If this was 1946, it'd be a 10. But with the burgers that we have now, I just think that, like, you could put some salt on it or something. I'm just, again, but everything about it is good. I just think there's just better versions of that now, today. Call me crazy. But I'm still going to go. I might do this once a year from now on. I feel bad for not going. But, again, that's just me. But I love y'all. I'm sorry, I'm throwing a muffle. They do hit, though. Anyway. That's going to be the end of the video, man. I just wanted to do this place. Because it gets asked so many times. So I kind of wanted to go in and talk about it. Because I know it's a popular place, even just Food Network-wise, you name it. And just tell you what it's like from a person who's been there a million times and lives here. I live here. I don't live far from White Mana at all. I live here. This is this is my hood. So we'll be back, man, tomorrow. More content. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.